He's very healthy. He's fine. It's the stigma that surrounds it, and he's terrified. Have you ever failed? Are you listening? Every time he's, you know, dating someone or like someone, and he goes up to them and tells them that he's HIV positive, and the reaction that he has so often, I'm sure, has gotten from people within the community, it's tragic. And I've, I've met people along my journey in life who are HIV positive, they're beautiful, beautiful people. And my heart goes out to them, hearing their stories of rejection and fear. And, you know, it's really important to reach your hand out to those who are hurting and who are suffering. And more importantly, in our own community, don't shun the people out there who have a disease that I'm sure they wouldn't want to wish on their, their enemy because of how much it's affected their life in every way, shape, and form. So it was really moving, it was really powerful, and um, an experience that I, I wish that you could have shared with me and understanding the magnitude of how HIV and AIDS has shaped our community and the world and how they view us. And we have to start painting a better picture, brighter picture for everyone to model it after, but it starts with us. So put in the work, put in the work, reach your hands out to the brothers and sisters within our community or abroad that are suffering <coughs> immensely with the stigma of HIV and AIDS. USPS. Who's your daddy? I'm your daddy. Who's your daddy? <laughs> Where? Where to? That is the question.
<laughs> Vlog. <laughs> this is the real Ravi around the world eating fucking. <gasps> don't eat that. Don't, don't eat that. Please. Not, I just really. I just want to slice the pizza. <laughs> I was not that I started. What were you told? What were you told? I was too young. <laughs> I got rejected by someone tonight. Ooh. You. <laughs> <laughs>